Hey everyone, welcome back. This is a OBS fix video just like the many I did in the past. Now, this video is not going to be too much different from the video I did in the past because I did a couple of OBS fix video and each video kind of focus on a different way to fix a common black OBS black screen issue. And I figured it would be a good time for me to kind of combine all of that into one video and put timeline down below so you could you know, go to the parts where you need instead of go to like multiple videos. It would just be one video and including multiple fix of how do you fix OBS black screen issue. And the idea of making this video is actually similar to the segue I will go to today. The Joy O Share Vidi Kit is one stop video tool that offers all the things you need to make videos. Don't believe me? Let's get counting. It can record, cut, merge, compress, convert, and repair videos as well as adding watermark and subtitles to the videos. It can even convert live photos to a GIF to help you create all the memes you need to create in the world. The software is easy to use. In the recording section, you have the option to record screen or audio. For the recording, you have tons of output format to choose from, and you can change the output file location with just four simple clicks. If you want to capture your screen, it's also very easy. You could choose to capture area by simply dragging how big the screen you want to capture. Choose your input audio level and the microphone, whichever you want to get the input to. You also have the option to record both audio and the video or just audio only. There's just so much more about the software. Get your free trial of the vidi kit today. Link in the description down below. Yeah, just like Joy always share vidi kit. This video is going to combine everything together to help make your life easier. And in fact, I'm actually recording this one using the video kit. So if it's good for me, it's probably good enough for you. Anyways, let's go back to the main point. Uh, so the OBX fix generally, it's like this video is only going to fix the common issue or common cause of black screen. If it still doesn't help, you have my Discord server link in the desk down below. You could join there and talk to me. I will do my best to help you. Or you can subscribe to my channel or you don't even have to. Just every Friday, uh, you can hop on between like 8 to 10. Well, it may be a different time for you, but in Eastern time zone, 8 to 10, I will do live stream just to help you out with black screen issue. You can help find me over there. Well, I'm while I'm waiting, I'm probably going to play a game or something. But if you see I'm in the middle of game, just send a message in the chat. You know, I'll probably stop it and help you. Hopefully we could finish or fix your OBS black screen issue. Anyways. So the first thing we're going to take a look is OBS display capture and game capture. So game capture is designed to capture a specific window or game or any full screen application and display capture while it captures your display. So display capture uses windows to capture display. Essentially, it's going to use your CPU uh, or the onboard graphics card on your CPU. Not all this, not every CPU comes with an onboard graphics card. So if you're buying a laptop or computer, things like that, you might want to do a little bit of research to make sure the CPU they have have a graphics card. Uh, if it's for Intel, make sure the letter K is at the very end of the name of like the CPU, because uh, that indicates that the card, the CPU has a onboard graphics card. And your GPU is what you used to capture game capture. And GPUs like, you know, NVIDIA RTX 3090 that you plug in. Okay, maybe not a 3090, but you know, it could still be like 20, 60, or you know, you know what I mean. So to set OBS to use uh, your GPU, what you need to do is go to graphic setting. Well, there's actually two things you could do. But first, you want to go to graphic setting of Windows. So just go to Windows search and type in graphic setting. And in the graphic setting, well, if you're watching this, you probably have a empty graphic setting. And let me show you how to add OBS Studio in here. So first, let me uh, remove OBS Studio from the list. Uh, so first thing you want to do is actually open Windows search and search OBS. And you want to open the file location. Okay, so now you're over here. You will see this is just a shortcut if you look under type. You want to right click this again, go to file location one more time. And now what you want to do is you want to go to the search address and copy this address because this is what you need to add your OBS as an application to the graphics setting. 
So now you go to Browse. Make sure you choose Desktop App first. And in this top search bar, just paste the address you just find. Click on Add. And make sure you click on OBS 64. Uh, if you don't, if you're not using 64-bit, well, it will be 32. Anyways, and click on Add. So once you do that, you will see there's your OBS Studio, and the option should be Let Windows Decide. So you want to click on Options and choose the high performance. So you see here, my GPU's NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1650 Ti, that's my high performance. Power saving, it's Intel UHD graphics, which is an onboard graphics card on my CPU. So once you click on Save, that's all you need to do to set OBS using your uh, GPU. Now, a different way to do this is actually using the control panel of your GPU. So since I'm using NVIDIA, it will be NVIDIA control panel. So here's my NVIDIA control panel. I just need to open it up. Okay, so in the NVIDIA control panel, you want to go to the 3D setting and click on the program setting. Now you have to select your OBS program. If you don't see the OBS program in the drop down menu, it's fine because you could just go to add and make sure you choose add select program. So first, if you can't find OBS here, uh, all you need to do is just scroll down to the list, see if you can find OBS. If you can't, go to Browse, do the same thing, copy-paste the OBS address we copied earlier, and select OBS64.exe, click on Open, and there we go. So after you select OBS, uh, make sure to select the preferred graphics processor with your NVIDIA processor, not integrated graphics. NVIDIA. And then click on Apply. It's going to do the magic. Once it's finished, you're good to go. So now, after you do that, uh, you could go ahead, uh, open up OBS, go to Game Capture, and choose a method, whether you want to capture a specific window or just full screen application. And you can fire up Minecraft and all the other games. But there's one thing you have to look out. Sometimes game capture works for this game, but doesn't work for other game. What you can do is simply close OBS and search up OBS again. And before you just hit enter to open or to run it, you want to choose run as an administrator. So that way, once you are running OBS with administrator, it will make sure it's running OBS with your GPU. So your game capture this time might have just worked for the game that wasn't working earlier. For example, if I want to record Genshin Impact on my uh, using the game capture, if I just run OBS normally, it won't work. I have to run OBS as an administrator so I can force it to run using my GPU and therefore to capture my gameplay. So now, let's say you finish capturing the game, you want to capture your screen using a display capture. Well, you set the capturing method using GPU earlier, so display capture usually will show you a black screen. But now, how is my display capture still working? Well, to prove your to prove to you my game capture is actually working, let me fire up a game, Genshin Impact, because why not? Uh, that's a game I've been playing quite a lot uh, recently. Don't ask me why, I just did. And I also still play Minecraft, but you know, there's no reason why for me not to play other games as well. Okay, as you can see, I have Genshin Impact running, and it's game capture that's currently capturing the game. But if I move to display capture, you will see I can still capture my display. So this is kind of contradict my theory earlier. Well, first of all, let me stop the game before I go further. Okay. All right, the game is stopped. Uh, it's going to be better. So display capture use your CPU, which is Windows, to capture the display, which means it should not work, but it still work right now. How? Well, that's because under display capture, if you right click, you could go to property, and if you have if you have the latest OBS version, or at least the version after 27.2.4, there's a capture method. And under capture method, it should be automatic by default. But one thing you could try is to choose Windows 10 specifically. Oh, also, you want to make sure your Windows 10 is you know up to date so it could use the feature. And click on OK. 
Uh, normally, if it's an issue because it's not using Windows to capture display, uh, this will fix it. So you could do game capture, display capture, without changing any of the graphics setting for OBS, like earlier in the times, to just save you the hustle around. And if all this work is still not working, please, before you say anything, just really make sure like the display screen you're seeing, like the thing I'm dragging right now, it's not in the corner and it's look like that. Because that way, yeah, obviously it's black screen because, uh, you know, your display capture is like minimized to the top. So if that ever happens, just right click on display capture and go to transform and make sure you choose fit to screen. Just try that because most of the time, when you add a new display capture or game capture, it will minimize the actual capture screen to like very, very small corner that you can't even see it. So that's it for today. This is a combination of the videos I made in the past about OBS fix, and hopefully this will help. Uh, if it still doesn't help, like I said earlier, I'm offering more help in my Discord server, or you could jump into my live stream, and I will try my best to help you. The only reason why I'm saying Discord server is not I'm trying to advertise my Discord server. It's just that if you join a Discord server, you don't have to join me directly as a friend, so it's easier for me to manage my Discord as well. All right, if you find this video helpful, make sure to hit the like button down below. Also, subscribe to the channel because, you know, you might know I will upload some fun things that will make you laugh or something that will be helpful, uh, helpful in the future. All right, see you next time. Bye-bye.